guys, my name is Rosanna and today we're going to be packing together. Actually, I've already packed it. I just want to show you everything that I'm bringing and then a couple of things that I'm on the fence with, but then we will see together. So I am heading to Hong Kong and I'm actually going there for over two months. So it's actually going to be a really, really, really long time. Um, I haven't done an international travel for two years. Um, I'm not bringing my Ramoa. I'm bringing this suitcase. It's still a carry-on. It's from ITO. Um, it's a little bit more beat up than my um, Ramoa, so that's why I'm bringing this, as well as um, this one's a little bit more roomy, and I don't care if this one gets checked in because it has been checked in again a couple of times. Um, oh my god, it's so heavy! So this is everything, uh, and I'm just gonna show you everything that I'm bringing in terms of clothes, shoes, and bags. Um, I think something you're going to be excited about seeing is just like what bag and shoes I'm going to bring first. So I just had those there, but I'm not bringing that. I'm actually going to bring this. I was on the fence. What designer bag I want to bring. I do try and pride myself on being an official, an efficient packer. So I only wanted to bring one designer bag um, that I would treasure. Um, I thought about bringing either this one, my YSL Cabis bag, or my Birkin, but I am going to Hong Kong and I wanted the bag to almost fit every single occasion that could be possible. Um, so I do go to like street markets, flea markets, like, and I eat in shady places, and I didn't really want to be carrying a Birkin. Um, like late night while walking by myself at home. So this one's a little bit more low key. Some people don't know it. And if I just turn it around like this, it just looks like a plain leather bag. Um, this one is the Balenciaga City Classic Bag. Um, I actually bought this over seven years ago, but it's basically brand new because I've only worn it like three times. Um, absolutely zero wear and I love it. Um, one thing that made me pick this one over the YSL is because this one has like a short shoulder strap and I could just sling it around my shoulder. And I do like that the bag is still really close to my body. Um, I know Blanchica has this new, the Neo City bag, which is like their updated version of their classic. Um, well, I don't even use this one, so I'm just going to use this one. And if I ever, ever really like the Neo, then I'll get that. But I feel like... I only have one Blanchiega and this is it and honestly it's so roomy it can actually fit my laptop too if it's my 13 inch MacBook Pro so this is going to be my carry-on and I'm going to put everything in it oh and also I'm bringing a little resistant band anyways and for shoes um I've been on the fence about this too I was either going to bring my Jeffrey Campbell black ones so I was either going to bring these and they're super sexy, but they're Jeffrey Campbell, so they're not like a designer. And I am going there for our wedding. So I wanted to, I don't know, I was on the fence. But anyways, I currently have this one packed. You've seen this one before. It's one of my favorite pair of heels. It's from Aquazura. Um, they're like just an inch taller, I think. No, actually they're... No, they're the exact same height. Never mind. They're the exact same height, and I was on the fence. Which one would you prefer better? This black Jeffrey Campbell or the Aquazuros? I was thinking, so this is like a dilemma I have, but actually, I don't know what dress I'm wearing yet. So I'll just leave these out to you. Can I? Oh, here, I'll put them here. Wee, they're so pretty. Um, I wasn't even really. Okay, so. Um, the thing with the wedding is I actually don't know what dress I'm wearing yet. The wedding is in July and I don't have the dress yet. I um, am buying it in Asia so I don't know exactly which dress it is. So I was thinking either black or the silver but this one's definitely going to work. Oh my god, I love those by the way. My So Kate Louboutins. Um, I was just wearing them the other day. So out. Also grateful that Aquazora has two dust bags. For whatever shoe brand that doesn't have two dust bags, don't like them. Okay, so this is what I'm bringing. In terms of jackets, also it's 30 degrees weather, but I'm bringing this very, very lightweight wool blazer. Got this for my jacket. My other jacket I'm bringing is from Lululemon. Oh crap, I didn't bring it here with me. But it's like a really lightweight rain jacket. 
very very similar to this one but in black and with a hood so this one's from lulu it's a little rain jacket but it's very thin it's a single layer so i'm getting bringing one black version of this and this wool blazer so these are the only two jackets i'm packing again it's 30 degree weather but i like to have like a long sleeve option always and then in terms of dresses fun things first i'm not bringing too much like designery clothes but um, I'm actually a hoe for leopard print. So I brought this beautiful long, it's like goes up to here. Um, this dress from Club Monaco, oof. And of course I have the matching silk shirt for it. I don't, I'm not necessarily gonna wear them together, but I could wear them together. They get tied at the waist. Um, but this is actually my favorite, favorite silk shirt that I own in my entire life. Um, I've worn this and I've traveled with this so much. I know it looks like pajamas here, but trust me, with the right jeans or as a cover-up, this is the most beautiful silk shirt. It almost has like little runs in it now. Right here, you can see it. But not because it's bad quality, but because I've had this for literally five years. But... I'm going to take really good care of it, bring it there. I'm going to bring this dress. This is from Dynamite. Um, it has a little weird hole in it. Um, you can see it, on, I think, on my Instagram, um, me wearing this, but I will maybe pop in a photo. But you'll definitely see me wearing this throughout my two months because I bought a, actually a lot of clothes, a lot more clothes than I usually do, to prevent myself from buying anything new. I know that sounds impossible, but I'm really trying to. So love this green bring this um this is from zara it really needs a good press but it wrinkles really quickly once it's in the suitcase it's a beautiful gold slip dress um and it has a little cowl in the front so again it's, it's a longer dress sits about like right about the ankles there this one i was thinking if i pair it with this silk shirt as the cover-up gorgeous you see that okay another one this I almost don't want to bring because it's so big and bulky but this is one of my favorite dresses um, I am a long sleeve and long dress hoe like I like covering up especially from the sun so this is a beautiful like vintage dress fits almost down again that uh, ankle length and it's long sleeve and it has a little vintage belt to it I'll show you. It's so pretty. Right up here. Oh, no, it's upside down. Why is it like that? No, it's like, like this. It's so pretty. So that's right at the waist. This is so much fabric, though. So this one's a little bit hard to pack. But this would be just one outfit all on its own. This is something new that I haven't worn yet. Um, I got it from Oak and Fort. And it's really cute. This one is like this beautiful floral like um, baby blue color and it's a jumpsuit. Again, it sits at that perfect length for me right above the ankles. Um, this one, my cover up is going to be this blazer that I showed you from the beginning. So I really tried all the outfits together to make sure they all work. And that's what I would wear together with it. Um, but pajamas, of course, and then this one I've, you've seen that probably a different video again from dynamite It's a long sleeve, but I do love the swirls It's beautiful Um, and the last long sleeve on this side is this, this is a vintage silk shirt. That's one of my faves Um, it's 100% silk, but it's from a vintage brand called Peter Hem Hem um beautiful gray with roses i love roses and the jeans that match perfectly with this are these gray jeans Ooh. um these are from joe's jeans there are these high-waisted skinnies and this this pair of jeans skinny jeans with this top beautiful and if i want to make it going out i could wear these heels with it or if I decide to bring these black Jeffrey Campbell ones, they also work. But I'm thinking about you getting these designer ones. It's just that in Hong Kong, you have to like transit quite a bit. Um, like I don't want to take taxis everywhere because it's expensive and I'm not 
Like I love spending money, but I also love saving money. So I don't really, like I, I, I'm gonna be taking transit. So I don't really wanna trash these heels. But at the same time, I'm a designer hoe too. And if I go to the wedding with non-designer heels, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about that. Okay, keep going. Um, these are another pair of my favorite jeans. I'm bringing a lot of my favorite things. Um, these are from Meguiar. Um, it says designed in New York, made in Los Angeles. Um, these are the back and they're beautiful, stretchy. And the bottoms, look at that. Beautiful, cute flare. It's so cute. Actually, I was going to bring this t-shirt. I'm wearing and I'm wearing pants. These like biker shorts from Lulu. They were, they didn't make the cut, but I was going to. This is from Uniqlo. It's from their new, one of their new like collaborations. I got a size large because I'm liking that oversized look. And I'll show you this one that did make the cut. Um, it's this. It's another Uniqlo uh, t-shirt. This one, um, again, it's a size large, so it fits exactly the same way that this one fits. So it's like loose, fits large, you see that? Um, so I'm, I end up not getting this one, bringing this one. I'm gonna just bring this black one. Um, another t-shirt I brought that is really cute. This one's from Cheap Monday. I've had this for years, actually. I just like this. It, you know, I, I love how random the words are. Be realistic. Demand the impossible. We will not negotiate. I just, I like how random it is. I don't know. I think it'll fit in that Asian culture. And then these are the new shorts I bought in Portland that you probably saw. I haven't worn these yet because it's actually not um, hot enough um, in Vancouver. But these are the made well denim shorts in a size 24 that I haven't worn them yet, but I will. So I'll wear these like with anything, like this red tee with this black shorts, gorgeous. I did bring a bathing suit. I bought a very modest one piece bathing suit. I'm not really planning to do anything with it, but um, there's a swimming pool where I'm gonna be staying at and I'm literally gonna um, like using it for exercise. So I just brought like one modest but it's my favorite one piece it's from kid and ace it's a local brand where i live um it's not reversible but you know i love i just really like this it has super super low back so it's kind of really sexy but it's like a one piece sexy you know and then i brought a bunch of lulu clothes so i'm gonna be wearing like black lulu leggings um when i head there um along with this black nike long sleeve and then a couple more Nike, uh, no, Lulu stuff I'm gonna bring is this white Align tag. This is one of the best sellers. I don't know why I'm crouching like this, real tiring. So this is one of like their best sellers. I have it in literally like 18 different colors. I'm barely exaggerating. Um, the two colors that made it to the cut, I was gonna bring black too, but I'm trying to limit the amount of clothes I'm bringing. Um, so I, I made white, white got the list because white's gonna work really well with this blazer and like these gray jeans. So these gray jeans, the white aligned tag, this blazer is gonna be really, really cute. Um, and again, it's 30 degree weather. And I know it's crazy to even bring this, but I need some kind of light outerwear and if you've never been to Hong Kong before, it's super, super hot and humid everywhere. But once you go into a mall or a restaurant and you have dim sum or something, dude, it is freezing. And you're literally going from hot to super cold to hot and super cold. And it's like, you can get sick, like really bad um, if you don't have some kind of cover up or scarf, um, which is one of the reasons why like I wanted to bring like my big Blanchiega bag is because I've also almost never used this. I'm very surprised at myself. Um, but again, not really, because I just have too many things. Okay, so anyways, got distracted. I'm bringing the two aligned tags. This one's like a light purple. I also brought this because the colors go together with the blazer. Um, I have to make sure everything works. 
And then this one's a bit of an outlier, almost didn't bring this. Just another set of uh, a Lululemon um, sports bra. This is the free, free to be, or wild free to be um, sports bra from Lulu. I wear a size four. Um, I usually, my boobies are like 32B or 32C, so the size four fits me the best. And I think these leggings are, yeah, they're a size two. And I think this is the Everlux fabric. So the Everlux size two, um, 28 inches. So this is a really gorgeous set. Just gonna wear this like out um, for some kind of exercise, bike rides, hiking, etc. And then the shoes. Oh, I have another little handbag I bought. So I, like I said, I only want to bring one designer bag because I'm a little, I love my designer stuff, but I'm a little worried about customs and everything. Um, I don't really like having too much like expensive pieces on me when I travel because I don't know, I have a fear of like losing my entire luggage or when I come back to Canada, they'll be like, where did you buy this? I'm going to tax you. Knock on wood, it's never happened before, but I don't know. I just get a little fear inside. So anyways, I didn't want to bring another designer bag. So this is the one that I potentially would wear for the wedding, whatever I plan to wear. And I thought it was really cute. It's pretty stylish. It looks like a dupe for, I think it's like a Bottega. I could be wrong, um, but there is a, it is a dupe for something. This is from Call It Spring. Um, it's not even real leather, but it doesn't, it barely has any zero branding on it. So I think it's pretty low key. And I am that person that brings an umbrella everywhere and is also thunderstorming all the time. And surprisingly, this umbrella with this little hook fits perfectly into this purse. So I just got this little piece and look at that. Fits perfectly in there and I still have lots of room to put my card holder and whatnot. I'm probably gonna get a card holder. And then uh, I'm wearing Adidas Ultra Boosts on the plane, white and white. And then I also, these are pretty old, but um, they're comfortable. They're from Naturalizer. It's like this brand, it's kind of old. It's an old brand, but like don't, like I mean, honestly, when I travel, I bring like the grandma brands, but they're pretty cute. They look like Converse's in a sense. And these are going to be like, I'm going to be wearing this with this. You know what I mean? Um, so most of the time I'm going to be wearing these shoes, to be honest. Um, they're super comfortable at night. And I do do really long walks when I'm in Asia. Um, so that's that. Um, and the last thing is, yeah, that's really it. So I think, oh, and I got like, you know, my toiletries and stuff. But no need to show you that. Um, that is all I'm packing. I hope you enjoyed a bit of it. And like, I'm still confused, which shoe do I bring? But you're gonna find out because by the time this video goes out, I'll already be in Asia and I will be shooting a lot more there. So please subscribe. You'll see all the luxury little shopping in Hong Kong. Might not buy anything, but I might, but might not. Um, but you know, please subscribe. I hope you like and just, I hope you find something entertaining and I will see you again soon, okay? And one more thing. These are the sunglasses that I'm contemplating to bring right now. I know they're really grandma and big. They're from Tom Ford, but I got them like eight years ago. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about getting bringing these. Bye guys, see you in Hong Kong.